Hello and welcome to another episode of Salary Voodoo. This week we are going over three fights that you yourselves have picked from UFC Vegas 63, headlined by Calvin Cater, this guy, and Arnold. Oh God, I'm never. I could never be a weatherman. And Arnold Allen, uh, happening at the uh, the uh, the uh, Apex Center. I was trying to think of an adjective. The prestigious, the luxurious Apex Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, guys, I don't know what else to say. Let's get right into it. No more messing around. Here are the rules for Salary Voodoo. Salary Voodoo offers stats that aim to give you a fresh, unique angle when it comes to MMA DFS lineup construction, especially for GPP tournaments. I glean stats from historically unusual places such as salaries, fight positions, weight classes, etc. Heavily probability-based and very heavily overanalyzed for sure. Salary Voodoo stats are tracked since 1-1 of 21. And natural salaries are used for calculations, meaning salaries that add up to $16,200 unless otherwise noted. Guys, before we get into it, please take two seconds, subscribe to the, to the channel, and comment down below. Most importantly, comment down below the fights you want to see from UFC Vegas 64. I have no idea who's headlining. I can't remember off the top of my head, and I'm not going to check right now. But please, please comment. Oh, I'm going way too far. Please comment. I don't know the up or down arrow. Uh, the fights that you want to see from UFC Vegas 264. It's so much more fun when you guys get involved, and I absolutely love replying to all of the comments and seeing what fights you guys have picked. So let's get right into it. As you already saw, if you had a keen eye, first fight of the night picked by AJ Philbrick that we are going to cover here on Salary Voodoo. 9,300, 6,900. We've got the Iron Turtle, Jun Young Park, going against Ugly Man Holmes. Uh, 9,300. Actually, we'll start. This is a middleweight fight. 50% of the time a middleweight fight is fought, someone makes the optimal lineup. Fight number four, a very, very good fight to target as someone makes optimal 53.85% of the time. And the salary pair as a whole, when 93 fights 69, one of them makes the optimal at 48.28%. Not a great number, but as you can see, the minus 2.11 looks bad, but actually it is good. It means we are under leveraged to this pair as a whole, which means we should get them in our lineups 2% more often than we are currently. So there's some give and take with the salary pair voodoo here. Let's start with Jun Young Park, $9,300, the average ownership for that salary. And remember, we are going off of salaries here, not fighters. Uh, the average sal ownership for this salary is 32.76%. That is a ton and we are over leveraged. We do not want positive leverage. We want negative leverage. We're over leveraged by almost 7% to the $9,300 salary. Uh, yeah, so it makes optimal much less than the 32% average ownership. We have Orthodox versus Orthodox here. Finish win rate for the $9,300 salary is 41.5%. My goodness. Uh, way higher than its decision win rate, which you do like to see. Two thirds of the time, optimal fighters get finishes over decisions okay two to one you want to favor finishes uh so we are well over the over uh the decision rate um for 9300 meanwhile 6900 uh let's see 13.41 percent owned average leverage guys we are under owned to this salary by nine percent get 6900 dollars in your lineups and this week honestly is no different watch my game theory video where we go over every single fight for ufc vegas 63 and i say the same thing get 6900 dollars in your lineup even if this goes to decision i think it scores very well finish win rate only 12 percent decision win rate 15 percent not great let's check out some of these other stats uh, 9300 has made optimal 15 out of 58 times for an optimal rate of just 25.86 percent anything over 25 is actually pretty good anything over 30 is fantastic and we are just over 25 so that's not terrible not terrible at all has a win rate of 69 percent wink wink and an optimal and when it wins it makes optimal 37 and a half percent of the time that is not a good number but Average DraftKings points per win is up there at 99.02. That is a very good number. One of the highest out of all salaries, to be completely honest. So 99.02. Some, some decent numbers here from the $9,300 salary. You want that optimal percentage to be a bit more. And maybe the win rate, too, for such a high salary, it's less than 70%. A bit red flaggish, if you ask me. 6900 Again, 58 times it's been used has made optimal just two times less than its much more expensive counterpart. 13 to 58 for an optimal rate of just 22.41. We are, you know, 3% under, 3.5% under the $9,300. I mean, how, 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 what is, what's the difference there if I could speak? $2,400? Is that right? Yeah, $2,400. 
uh, difference in salary. And we were only three and a half percent uh, difference as far as optimal rate. Win rate for 6,900 is 27 and a half. And uh, when it does win, it makes optimal at a ridiculous 81.25%. That is insane. So any, you know, 81% of the time, $6,900 wins, it makes optimal. That is a crazy, uh, crazy number. In fact, that is by far the highest number out of all salaries as I'm looking right now. The next highest is at 7,200 guys, 81. Holy crap. That is a ridiculous number. 95.59 points per win guys. What do you think? I mean, here, if you're a first timer here in salary voodoo, we don't just give stats. We make decisions. Is the salary voodoo going to be good? Are we going to get some of that good voodoo? Is the salary voodoo going to be bad? Let's check it out. You see Bernie, you see them circular Morpheus glasses there. You know, we got that good voodoo, baby. Uh, you got to play this fight. In my opinion, you have to play this fight. The salary score for 9,300, 7.98, the 11th best out of 30 salaries. Not too bad. Almost top 10. Meanwhile, 6,900 for being the third, fourth, fifth lowest salary total. In fact, I think it's fourth lowest. It's 18th best salary score. So it's out kicking its coverage for sure 9.32 salary score like i said if this goes to decision i think uh 6900 with a win could do well even in a loss could score 30 40 points and be right up there um for a contender depending on some of these other other salaries so i love this fight and i'm thinking you got to play this one. Second fight picked did we say who that was picked by yeah aj philbrick i did say that second fight 8,400 going against 7,800 happens to be Philip Hawes going against Roman Delice, picked by the Green Reaper and WW middleweight fight. Again, 50% of the time middleweights fight, they make the optimal lineup. Fight number six, even better than fight number four, 55.13% of the time. And then the salary pair of 84 and 78 is one of the best salary pairs you can play. 57.97% optimal. That is a huge number guys. And we are still six and a half percent under leveraged to this under leveraged. We're at 58% optimal and we need to put these guys in 6% more than we are currently. It's insane. Get these guys in your lineups. Average ownership for the $8,400 salary is 27.26%. We are over leveraged to that one by two and a half percent there. So a bit, you know, going in a bit hard on the $8,400 salary finish win rate is 23 decision win rate is 24 and a half very very close there 7800 here's where the magic happens guys average ownership on that salary is just 24.15 percent but look at that beautiful bean footage i mean look at that beautiful negative leverage minus 9.18 percent excuse me big cough there it means we have we need to get 7,800, 9% more in our lineups than he currently is. My goodness. Finish win rate, 17.39. Decision win rate, way higher, 30.43. But man, what a great dog salary. Uh, both these salaries have been used, six, or they fought each other rather, 69 times. 8,400 has made it 17 times for an optimal rate of 25.86. Very, very good. Meanwhile, 23 times, 23 times out of 69 uses for 7,800. That is an optimal rate of 33 and a third percent one out of every three times 7800 the dog salary of 7800 steps into the octagon it makes optimal guys that is an insane insane number a uh, win rate for the favorite salary is 4783 win rate for the dog salary 4928 uh, when 8,400 does win, it makes optimal 51.52% of the time. That is a very good number uh, for a favorite salary. Anything more than 50% in this category for a favorite is a good number. 7,800 makes it 67.65% of its wins, so an even better number. Uh, the average DraftKings points per win goes to the dog salary as well, 95 points to 72.5. Guys, the 7,800 dog salary is outperforming 8,400 in almost in fact, it is in every single category. And again, this negative 9.18% leverage is the key. You got to get 7,800 in your lineups. Well, again, watch game theory. Actually, let's just get into it. This is a fantastic fight to target, guys. We got a Bernie. That means we got that good voodoo. Watch game theory. It will be linked down below in the description. That's the video on my personal channel where I go over all 11 fights on UFC Vegas 63. We talk about this one. I talk about how I like Roman Delice and he is 7,800 at this dog salary. You just saw all the stats. It is a fantastic fight to target and a fantastic dog 
to target. So give me Roman Delice, give me some Phil Haas, and give me that Bernie Voodoo, baby. 8,400 has a salary score of 8.09, 12th best overall. Meanwhile, the 7,800, again, a dog salary, 6.51 salary score. That is sixth highest out of all salaries, favorite or dog. So give me this fight. Give me the Delice side more than the Haas side, but I absolutely love it. And Bernie, we thank you for your service. Next fight, guys. Third and final fight of the night. Please hit that subscribe on the MMA engine. It's me. It's Wheezy. It's Lou. It's Brady bringing you several uh, videos worth of content every single day, each and every week before all pay-per-view and non-pay-per-view UFC cards. That was a, such a strange way to say that, but you know what I mean. Final fight, guys. 8,200, the main event, going 8,000. We've got uh, Arnold Allen going against Calvin Cater. This one is picked by J-O-N-W-W. Thank you guys so much. Everyone that commented, thanks a ton. It makes these videos so much more fun when I don't have to pick the fighters. So please, one last time, comment down below of who you want to see me go over next week, and I will be sure to get to your fight. Featherweights make it even more than middleweights. 54% of the time a featherweight fight happens, someone makes optimal. This is the 11th fight of the night. That is a That has an optimal rate of 51.56. Guys, each and every fight that you've chosen is well over 50% so far in these categories. Five round fights have a 62.24% chance of making optimal. The salary pair of 82 and 8,000, fantastic to play. 53.62% and we are under leveraged to this pair by 3.21%. Guys, get it in your lineup. Get it in your lineups, guys. 8,200 happens to be Arnold Allen this week. Let's see what the ownership uh, for that salary is. We've got about 27.18% and we are over the field or sorry, over leveraged, I should say. We are putting the uh, 8,200 in our lineups 4% too many times, guys. 4% over leveraged. Let's check out, or not not yet, not yet. This is a Southpaw versus Orthodox matchup. Southpaw, when a Southpaw fights Orthodox fighter, I should say, has a win rate of 52.46%. So that is a very good edge. The finish win rate for this salary is 24.5. Decision win rate, 20.29. So you do love to see, the again, the finish win rate above the decision win rate. That is a fantastic look. Meanwhile, the $8,000 salary is an orthodox fighter this week, has a win rate when it fights southpaws of 45.49%. Not a very good edge there. Average ownership, 23.23 for the $8,000 salary. And guys, we are under leverage. This is a pattern with these low, the, these high dog salaries. Under leverage by 7.2%. People think dog and they just... Don't put them in their lineups as much. I mean, the ownership is 4% difference here from 82 to 8,000, and the leverage is 11 points off. 11. We're four points over on 82 and seven points under on 8,000. That is something to think about. The finish win rate for 8,000 is 21.75. Decision win rate, 29. So, you know, a bit backwards, but not terrible. Uh, these two salaries have fought each other 69 times. 8,200 has made the optimal lineup 16 of those 69 times for an optimal rate. The lowest we've seen out of any salary so far, 23.19%. Again, anything over 25 is good, and we are sitting at 23.19. Win rate of just 44.93%. When it does win, makes optimal just over 51.5% of the time with an average DraftKings points per win of 94.41. So some decent numbers from 8,200 but really just run of the mill, to be quite honest. Now the dog salary, 21 times it's made optimal five more than its favorite counterpart for a percentage of 30.43%. Another fantastic number here has a win rate of over 50, 50.72%. And when it does win, guys, it makes optimal 60% of the time, three out of every five times the $8,000 salary wins. It makes optimal, scores 92.45 points per win, which is pretty low, but that's beside the point. What do we got here? Is this some good voodoo? Is this some bad voodoo? I think you know, because I know, and Bernie knows, baby. We got that good voodoo again. You guys picked three fantastic fights this week for salary voodoo. Three fights that I will definitely be targeting this one actually i'll be targeting the least out of all three um but i still like it i like the main event angle i like the striking aspect of these guys um 8.48 for 8200 salary score 15th best so right in the middle of the middle of the road there eight thousand dollars salary score of 6.92 ninth highest we got a top another top 10 salary for a dog guys let's get into the recap before we get out of here 
here we go. First fight, 9,300 and 6,900. Jun Young Park against Ugly Man Holmes. We got ourselves a birdie. Good voodoo. Target that fight. Uh, next fight, we talked about Phil Haas at 8,400, $7,800 for Roman Delice. This is my number one fight to target, probably. Definitely out of this video, but possibly overall. I'd have to do a little bit more uh, research. It's it's first or second, honestly, on the whole card. And then the third fight, the main event, 8,200 Arnold Allen going against the $8,000 Calvin Cater target this fight as well love these five round fights between strikers it is gonna be a banger guys we did it those are your three fights for salary voodoo this week thank you so much for tuning in i really hope you enjoy this card please again leave that comment down below of who you want to see next week and as usual i want all of you to enjoy the fight so enjoy and we will see you in the next one